Well, this is it, my good friends. I hope you've enjoyed the course. I've looked at a lot of wonderful PowerPoints, and I'm looking forward now to looking at your papers. Uh, so this is it. Your final paper is due the assignment link by a final revised version of your paper is due the assignment link uh, next Monday night, May 4th. Uh, let's talk about a couple things. Uh, let's make sure you've looked at the comments. They're often not as helpful as what you actually learn from looking at others, other papers, so don't just rely on those, please. So what I'm looking for, and you can see it in the rubric, you can see it in the details for this assignment, I'm looking for well-focused paragraphs. Generally think about three paragraphs per page. That's not a hard rule, but if you go over more, if you have bigger paragraphs than that, you know, like one and a half paragraphs per page, usually that means your paragraph's about several topics. You can break it up, okay? Make sure you have clear topic sentences for the beginning of every paragraph. If you find yourself wandering, start a new paragraph, put a new topic sentence in there, move on. I'm also looking for research in every paragraph, and, and I've had an opportunity to look at a couple papers ahead of time, and sometimes we're doing a little bit of storytelling, which is fine, like maybe about injuries and sports or concussions, that kind of thing. You can still relate your own story, paragraph by paragraph, to the research. You could talk about, well, how many concussions are there in a year, if you're talking about your own concussion, right? What kind of concussion did you have, or what kind of sport concussion, uh, what kind of sport were you in? You can find some statistics about the number of concussions per sport. Sprinkle that in there. Don't forget, this is a research paper, which means you need to refer to your research in every paragraph except the introduction that belongs to you personally and the conclusion. You never add new information to a conclusion. Okay, but the rest of the body paragraphs, the body paragraphs, need to have research in them and carefully cited. And don't forget to cite paraphrases and summaries as well as direct quotations. Uh, that said, I'm also looking for page length. There's no excuse to have less than 10 pages. If you, if you really want to be confident about an A, you better have 12. I've told you this before, some students say, well, I say everything I want to in eight pages. It's not about what you want to say, it's about what the reader gets out of what you did say, okay? And because this is a research paper, you have to back everything up with good research all the time, all right? And that often means using direct quotes, you can add more direct quotes to your paragraphs. Generally speaking, uh, don't, if you're coming up short, don't add more junk at the end. That's just, you're right, you're rambling, you didn't need to add anything else. What it meant, if you came up short, is that you didn't thoroughly develop your thoughts along the way, you didn't thoroughly develop your paragraphs along the way, okay? Uh, last but not least, I need a writer's memo, please. Separate attachment helps me a lot, all right? Uh, don't press submit till you see both attachments. Writer's memo should cover what you learned in the class and how the paper itself went for you. And use some thoughts on peer review, please. And then above all, please stay safe. Our goal here is to reopen the campus by fall. All right. And in order to do that, we're going to have to practice social distancing, hand washing, and those kinds of things. We have to be smart. We can't be lulled in complacency by, I don't want to go into it, okay. But don't look at the pictures of people on the beaches and that kind of thing. So, oh, I can do that too. Uh, you can still infect, even if, even if you don't personally get sick, all right, you can still infect, infect your loved ones, right, and there's a, uh, and the only way to prevent this is social distancing. Don't believe anybody that tells you anything differently, okay? You guys are in college now, you're, you're uh, using critical thinking skills, and that means looking at the details, looking at the specifics, pressing down, looking at the examples, keeping an open mind, all right, and always trying to acquire better information, new information, more factual information. Okay, so please, please, please be careful. Have a good summer, and, and I've enjoyed the class a lot, so thank you very much.